Ah, uh, it always is pleasant to see you as soon as I come back. She is an innocent one that must be protected at all costs. We must protect her. She is too precious for this world. And well, I shall do all the protecting. Oh crap, hang on. Okay, I'll screw that up. Oh, I'm glad I didn't screw that up. Oh wait! Hang on! Shortcut, bitch! Why deal with all that po oh. Hi, I thought I'd be clever. No wonder why this is World 6 with Blaze. The other one you can use her flying powers to help her you or make shortcuts. This one, well, you aren't gonna be so lucky. Oh well. At least I'm trying. So let's just go sail along here, eh? Take all the shortcuts I can, try to stay high and enjoy myself. So anyway, welcome back, everybody. Ow! Fuck you! Welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Sonic Rush. This is your host, EMJ406. And well, we're here to battle it out on Huge Crisis once again. Ah! Damn you! Knocking me back down here. I appreciate that. Oh. Ah, it didn't let me move. That was weird. Oh, well. I'll get the hang of all of you getting in my way, and I'll kill every last one of you. Very, very quickly. I'll make sure you regret messing with Blaze. Go, go, go! You can't just hold the boost button. You have to actually go in director, or else it won't work out. Huh. I wonder how that... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Woohoo! You're doing tricks! Look fancy and shit! Well, fancy she did look. Also, I had to wonder... Is there actually, like, a military in this world or something? I don't know why that's the thing across my mind right now. Or whether this world actually is a military. I mean, they definitely do. Or do they? Again, the world changes all the time for Sonic games, so I have no idea if an army actually exists, or is just for convenience sake for some places. Ah, oh, I wanted to jump up and fly. Ah, oh, there's a one up there. Damn it. I always seem to be not ready. Because, well... I would love to see Sonic and Friends battle the military again. But then again, we still have those robots, which are, uh... Those- Oh! One ring away from a one-up, you asshole! Those animal- Those robots are ones created by humans that aren't Eggman, so... I think there'd be more problems since we're on a military vehicle. Like, shouldn't there be a lot more of them coming here? Or maybe this is one of the- Maybe this is a ship that went rogue because Egg, Eggman reprogrammed them or something. Look at me trying to come up with solutions to plot holes in Sonic games that don't need to have solutions or answers. Because I'm such a nice guy, I want to make Sonic games understood for everyone. You really think you can accomplish that? No, I don't. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to try, damn it. At least I put in the effort. You're getting better, Blaze. If you get an S rank on any regular level for me, that would be impressive. Which, by the way, I did double check. There is no, there is no unlockable for getting all S ranks. That's just personal pride. And thankfully, it's not like Sonic Adventure 2 or Sonic Heroes, where you need to have a particular score to be given an S rank. Ugh. Well, for Sonic Adventure 2, it's A rank. The S rank was created as of, uh... Hmm. Actually, I guess this is technically the game that introduced the S rank, because this is the, uh... Wow! This is the first game to come after Sonic Heroes, I think. Yeah. So this is the game that actually introduced the S rank, that, well, a lot of the other Sonic games strive for now. Too bad the best thing could ever hit in gameplay is B rank. We get it, you're not impressed by the gameplay. 
It needs to be better, though. Not wrong. Ooh. Look at that. Oh. I actually got smart there for a second, and then I ruined it. Oh, yeah. Another thing to discuss. So. What do you people think about Sonic Team's recent effort to try to make a good Sonic game? Because, well, like me, you may be thinking that, well, Christian Whitehead and his team who made Sonic Mania embarrassed the folks at Sonic Team with their, uh, efforts. Because, well, they made a fan-made Sonic game, and it was better than anything Sonic Team has <laughs> put out in a while. Do you agree with that sentiment? That Sonic Team has been dropping the ball in the Sonic series lately? Or do you think that their team needs to just make another change of direction for the right way? Unfortunately, I can't agree with them needing a change of direction, because every change of direction they've done has ruined all the games! And again, the Sonic fan base is a tough one to figure out. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to fully blame Sonic Team for everything that's ha happened to them in their efforts to try to make a good Sonic game. As well, like, look at the simplicity of this game. There's, like, not a lot that's crazy about this one. It's very basic compared to most Sonic games. It just happens to be designed very well. Like, good level design goes a long way. Unfortunately, because of all the other stuff that Sonic Team tries to throw into their Sonic games, like, Interact with characters and other personalities and, well, crazy stories like Sonic Forces. Ugh. There's so much they have to live up to. It's kind of unfair that they have to deal with that and not be able, you know. Keeping this series fresh is definitely a difficult task. I'll give them that. I can see why they're struggling. But, you know. You can try to be like Kirby. The Kirby series. That pretty much always sticks to the basics. And, well, more times than not, what? it works out. Oh, that was close. Ooh, now I have to use this to hit you. Oh, come on. No kamikaze -ing. No kamikaze for you. I know they dropped the bomb on me, but that's beside the point. Uh, maybe one of these days, Sonic Team will get to, re to re grasp their former glory. The sad thing is, the best modern effort they've had was a game that re that basically modernized a lot of old Sonic levels. It basically took Sonic Colors and, uh, yeah, made a uh, bunch of levels of the past out of the Sonic Colors engine. I mean, I know that's not exactly what it is, but, you know, simply that is what they did. They took Sonic Colors, threw in levels from previous Sonic games, and tried to make it as if it was in Sonic Colors. That was Generations. That game was really good. It didn't have a lot of bosses, and, you know, there weren't any original stages, so, you know, it didn't have an amazing feel to it, but it was still really good for what it was. The mechanics were solid. They need to figure out how to make a game feel good again. I don't know what it is. They devote so much time on trying to develop the world and personality of the characters and all that. Sometimes they forget to give the game's soul along the way. I'm hoping someday that they'll realize that. And well... I don't know. Maybe something they should try to do now is try to go back to some of the older games and try to make something very similar but improved. Like... I know a lot of fans have wanted a modern take on the adventure games. Like, I know I've been hearing rumors of adventure remakes. I wonder if that has come to pass by this point. Remember that's the death attack, by the way. That's why I should point that out. Like, a new adventure game would have to be a good, like, good approach. I mean, I have a feeling they won't bring back Shell Garden, but, you know, I... They need to revisit some of the old Sonic games and try to see what had the heart of them to begin with. Like, despite the crappy gameplay from the adventure games and heroes, 
a lot of people still love them because, you know, they didn't, they didn't always have the best modes gameplay-wise, but there was still something fun about them. Controls were broken and all that. Well, design can be bland at times, but there's still a lot of people love an extra volume to the game, like a shell garden. Well, it just gave a little bit of an extra bit that made it a lot easier to get attached to the game. They need to find that heart of soul with Sonic games again. Right now, they've been hit and miss on the gameplay. And, well, because I'm not having anything, like, brilliant about the games anymore, anything that, like, looks or sounds very, like, interesting, there's a reason that modern Sonic games have started to be... started to fall into mediocrity. Maybe... I don't know. As for me, I would love them to revisit the adventure games. Try something new. Like, I love the feel of those games, even though the controls weren't exactly great. It would be really good to see what they could out. It would be really good to see what they could do when they tried it again. When you play a lot of different characters, that's another thing. Like, I know generally most Sonic games are the best when you can only play as Sonic. I mean, look at this game. Look at the Sonic Advance series. They allow you to play games as if you were a Sonic, but with different characters with slightly different abilities. It keeps things fresh. That's how Sonic 3 and Knuckles did it, too. Sonic Mania, come on. But it doesn't have to be like that. The way the adventure games worked, like, half of the alternate characters in the different gameplay modes were fine. It just... Some of them felt so mediocre that it soured the experience. Frickin' Big the Cat. Give me back the soul emeralds and don't talk about that cat. What cat? You regret this. I haven't regretted kicking your ass yet. It feels oh so good. I'm glad you enjoy it, Blaze. Ugh. Maybe it won't be embarrassing to be a Sonic fan someday. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to be a Sonic fan. Why am I playing this game? Turn it off! I'm kidding. But seriously, Sonic Team, maybe someday you'll you'll learn and figure it out. Uh-oh. Oh, Amy's here again! Why do I have the feeling this is going to be bad now? You've only collected six of the gems! Yes, I only need to recover one more. If I recover it, everything should be fine, I hope. Yeah. Hi again! It's nice to see you! Her name was Amy, right? Hey, Sonic was trying to find you two! Did you see him? Yes, we found him, but... I got six of the Soul Emeralds without him. I don't need his help. He looks like a soft bitch anyway. Huh. You should learn to be able to ask for help. If you have trouble, just ask Sonic for help. Sonic would be able to help you in a flash. No problem. I can take care of this myself. Boy, you're stubborn. You can rely on your friends, you know. Friends? Why you all stay, think of a friend? Sometimes you can't do things alone. And when you can, it's still better with friends. Got it? Um. <gasps> oh, shit. Please and I agree. Please is my friend and Annie's my friend. A friend of a friend is a friend. So, so I can you're also Blaze's friends. Well, that's some crafty, that's some shifty logic. That can't be true. But it doesn't feel wrong. You're getting infected, Blaze. Run! All right, then. So, now you don't have to screen yourself. I don't have to force myself. But you will anyway. There you are. Now I've got you. It fuckles. What about that, huh? Hey, you Catwoman. It's payback time. What did you do to him? Well, it really wasn't a big deal, but... Basically, Knuckles got the wrong idea, as always. That's pretty typical of Knuckles. <laughs> what a bitch. Okay, I'll take care of it. You two can go. <gasps> well, that's... Do you think she's going to be fine? Aren't you in a hurry? Please, let's go! Please hold on tight to me! We're going to fly again? Oh, uh, wait a sec. I'm kind of scared of heights. Ah! You'll be fine, Blaze. 
Hey, Dimwit, wait a minute! This has nothing to do with you, Amy. My business is with that cat woman. Look, that's why I called you a dip. Why I called you over. Listen to me. See, that's somebody with common sense on my cream right there. Hey, come back here. That's no fair. Flying away. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought Amy flew away. I was like, how did she fly? There's no way. <laughs> Damn, that hammer is crafty. Let me save you up here. Don't take this the wrong way, please. Knuckles is actually a nice guy. He's just an idiot. <sighs> thank you. Huh? <gasps> you don't need to thank me. We're friends, aren't we? Yep. Hmm. I like that idea. So now, let's go find the last one. I've never had such feelings before. And they're not so bad. I'm used to the life of guarding the Soul Emeralds, as my destiny is the last of my people. Oh god, no! Please don't become like Knuckles! Please don't become like Knuckles, for the love of god! At least you're not going here directly from altitude limit. Oh, boy. Well! Hmm. Should I keep going? I have a feeling I'm going to regret this if I do. You know what? I had a couple long ones because we're doing two worlds. Why don't I make this one shorter? Besides, if things go the way I want next episode, I can knock out Zone 7 and the final zone next time. So, I guess we'll cap it off here. Really short episode, I know. But, well, they see the world 62% distorted. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me go see something. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. I want to see if I can go back to Cream's house. Nope. Please, are you leaving? Are you sure? Don't you want to have more tea? No, I'm good. And then there's this spot here that's just where she started. This is where I first found Blaze. You mean you followed me throughout freaking Night Carnival? Damn. You are definitely too young for that place, little missy. <sighs> well, whatever. I have to be her guardian, apparently. Please, the cat, the guardian. I should have figured. Okay, well, come back next time. We're going to go through Deadline, and then we're going to take care of regular Eggman once and for all. So then I'll be the end of Eggman and Eggman Nega. You know? So that makes me feel like they'd be a lot better if they combined their forces together. Eh. They're both short-sighted, egotistical morons. They probably don't think about working together that way.